guys, thanks for watching another video. So a few days ago, I'm getting off of work, and I see on one of the TV screens as I'm going out, U.S. sends drone strike to kill Iranian General Soleimani. And I'm like, whoa, who is this guy? Because I don't think I ever remember a time where we've assassinated somebody in the open public like this. You know, so on the way home, I'm repeating this general's name and trying to see if I could recollect ever hearing his name. And I haven't, but I don't really pay that close of an attention to foreign affairs. I just know that it wasn't like Saddam Hussein or Osama bin Laden. And then I started thinking about bin Laden, and I'm like, man, all the trouble we went to finding this guy, because he was hiding, right? There was special ops going after him, covert operations, all kind of crazy stuff. But this guy, when I got home, I found out he was flying from Iran to Iraq in an airplane. He gets off, gets in his car, and that's when the drone got him. Now, this video isn't about if you agree with Trump's decision to do that or not. The point I'm trying to make in this video is we cannot underestimate Iran. Now so far it's been a lot of back and forth. You did this to us so we're going to do this to you and right now the ball is in Iran's court. We got to worry. They are nuclear armed. They have long range missile capability. They have drone strike capability. They have these militia groups that they can use as proxy armies to attack US interests or allies. But the big one we got to worry about, cyber attacks. Now we gotta put our faith in the Pentagon and the White House to protect us from cyber attacks and what's going on overseas. What we gotta worry about is doing everything we can to protect ourselves here. So here's what we can do. All of us on a daily basis, we have a routine that we go through. We see the same people, we see the same things. So if something gets into that pattern to disrupt it, kinda ask yourself, does that really make sense? And again, I'm not saying for you to go and do something about it. I'm saying look at the situation and ask yourself, is that supposed to be there? For example, in the building that I work at, people are always taking pictures of other people. They're taking pictures of paintings and sculptures, all kind of stuff. But if I see somebody taking pictures of a pillar or like of a support that where people don't normally take pictures of, I'm going to tell security, hey, go have a look at that guy. Or if I'm outside and I see a guy from across the street with a big gigantic telephoto zoom lens and he's there for like an hour on a tripod, I might call the police and say, hey, go check out that guy. Or if you see something like a suitcase just standing there by itself, call somebody, have them look at it. We got to pay attention and be on high alert here because Iran is not going to take this sitting down. Now that the president literally has us to the brink of war, guys, we are right there. Remember, I don't think Iran is going to take this sitting down. You got to do your due diligence, stay alert, and help keep everybody safe. Guys, that's the ending of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.